Oshkosh Media is government programming on GovTV, community programming on Life TV, and community radio on Oshkosh FM 101.9. Welcome to downtown Oshkosh and the annual 4th of July parade. The theme of the parade this year is the pride of America, our American flag. Before the parade began, we were blessed with Oshkosh Defense. Southwest Rotary, and new this year to handing out flags, is downtown Rotary. You can see our wonderful crowd is all excited. They all have the flags given to them by Oshkosh Defense, Southwest Rotary, and downtown Rotary. We're so very happy to be here on this beautiful 4th of July parade. Again, our parade committee um, is comprised of Vietnam Veterans of America, led by Duane and Ann as chairs. Could not have done this without them. The 4th of July coverage is made possible th through the financial support of the Friends of OCM, a nonprofit organization with a mission to provide our community with local radio, and TV programming. To help support the Friends of OCM, please visit their website at www.friendsofocm.org. And I have to say, it's truly a gorgeous day here again on the 4th of July in downtown Oshkosh. It takes a lot of people to make this parade happen, and of course, we're so excited for all the volunteers who come together to support us and to plan and to do this wonderful parade. Just a reminder too, there's so many things to discover in Oshkosh. Whether it's the farmer's market downtown here on Saturdays at 8 a.m. or Waterfest at the Leech Amphitheater Thursdays through August. Of course, up and coming is Life Fest at Sunnyview Expo July 6th through 9th. And then flying in, EAA Air Show July 24th through 30th. And then also Winnebago County Fair, August 2nd through the 6th. This is the place to be in Oshkosh. Also, today is the 4th of July, so at Menominee Park, after our wonderful parade, there will be 14 food trucks. And then, of course, the wonderful, wonderful fireworks display put on by Festival Foods. We're so grateful for their support in helping us get the 4th of July kicked off with a bang some 4th of July facts and trivia. You know that more than 50 million people are traveling 50 miles or more on the 4th of July. To see family and friends, to celebrate, to have a picnic. And speaking of picnics, over 150 million hot dogs are purchased and consumed on the 4th of July. Number one dessert, can you guess what it is? Number one dessert, apple pie. We're so glad that you could be here with us for this wonderful 4th of July celebration. As I said, before the parade began and handing out, handing out flags to everyone was Oshkosh Defense, the first time having a vehicle helping with this, Southwest Rotary and also Downtown Rotary. Coming, coming into view right now, we have the 6th District American Legion Riders with our Honor Guard, the Marine Corps League Winnebago Detachment 357 and Auxiliary. Of course, with respect, everyone is standing, taking off their hats and saluting our flag. So we're so glad, as the parade says, this is the pride of America our American flag. Um. 
again, a beautiful day here in downtown, downtown Oshkosh. A wonderful float too. Um, participants on the float are Brandon Bauman, Melissa Blauman, Laura Markroff. Um, what they do is promote the Marine Corps and all the activities. So thank you to the Marine Corps Detachment 357 in the Auxiliary, a great way to continue our parade. And of course, everyone loves, everyone loves all the candy that is being handed out. Again, this parade is made possible through our wonderful, wonderful parade committee with Dwayne and Ann chairing. Happy 4th of July from the Marine Corps League Auxiliary. Also, the Oshkosh Police Winnebago County Sheriff's Honor Guard is before us now. As we see them come into view, people standing and saluting our American flag and the freedoms that we have. And you know, it's happy birthday, America, our 247th birthday. Do you hear the music? Yes, it's the Oshkosh VFW Band. Under the direction of Lisa Zemlock. The band was organized in 1947. Let's have a listen to the music. like music to kick off a, a parade, isn't it? And wonderful music too. Thank you very, very much to the VFW band. Again, thank you to Oshkosh Media and their wonderful crew for being here today on the 4th of July and assisting with the parade. We thank Daryl and Ian and Jake and Scott for all their help so you can enjoy this parade and watch it on replay times also on oshkoshmedia.org. A lot of support is here for the Oshkosh VFW Band. Again, just a, just a reminder, you're watching Life TV's coverage of the 2023 Oshkosh 4th of July Parade. Again, for replay times, go to www.oshkoshmedia.org. Also, you might notice how beautiful downtown looks. We have partnered with the Bid District and the State Street Center uh, to help clean up downtown Oshkosh on Mondays and Fridays. It's called the Oshkosh Downtown Care Team, and it's a wonderful way to give back to our community. There are lots of candy coming from the VFW auxiliary, <laughs> auxiliary right there, and lots of kids running out to get it. If you haven't done so yet, there's still time to buy the OCM card. It's only $10 lots of great deals at local restaurants you can purchase the card at at restaurants like the delta or hardy's or two brothers it's ten dollars and you get a wonderful discount throughout the year on services that those restaurants that those restaurants provide so if you don't have your ocm card yet make sure you go down and get it like i said it's only ten dollars before us are the veterans of foreign wars post 1908 uh, the commander is David Steiner. And the Military Veterans Museum. If you haven't gone there yet this summer, go. If you're going to EA anyway, go to the Military Veterans Museum. A wonderful place to see all the history of why we're here today and the freedoms that we have. So. Hats off to our Military Veterans Museum.
did you hear the horn coming into view is the city of Oshkosh Fire Department. Fire truck ladder 15 and their crew. Truck is all nice and shiny and clean, all red and white here to help celebrate the 4th of July here as we're in downtown Oshkosh. Again, quickly, if I could read the wonderful names of our crew here who put on this, par this parade. Uh, Dwayne and Ann and Myron and Joe and Chuck and Dennis and Bruce and Jeff and George and Gary and Tom and Betty and Tom and Donna and Dee Dee. Wonderful, wonderful crew that have been planning this parade all year round. In fact, as soon as this parade is over, the committee will start planning the parade uh, for next year. This parade is made possible because of our parade committee. Expert towing and recovery is before us now with a wonderful patriotic float and of course kids of all ages throwing out candy. Expert towing has been with our parade for many many years. We're so thankful that they're here with us celebrating the 4th of July with us. So hats off to expert. And I see there's, there's a couple other things being thrown besides uh, candy, which is good. Some stuff for the adults, like some can cozies. I also would like to take a moment to thank House of Flowers for the beautiful floral arrangement that is on our desk this morning. House of Flowers has been our set design for the 4th of July parade for many, many years. Again, it's a beautiful day. There is a little breeze here in downtown Oshkosh. Um, wonderful. Oh, who is in front of us right now? A well-known staple in our parade as they, as they drive around and do their wonderful tricks. But most importantly with the Shriners is all the money that they raise uh, goes to help support children in hospitals. And so we really do appreciate um, what they do for us. They're not only entertaining us, but they're also supporting children and sick children. So thank you very much uh, for what you do. Let's watch them drive around a little. Also, just a reminder that the fireworks tonight are sponsored, again, generously by Festival Foods. So we thank them very much. Okay, coming up in August is the Winnebago County Fair. It's August 2nd through 6th. And as you can see, after the Zor Riders pass us, you can see their wonderful float advertising the flair. Uh, August 2nd through 6th and uh, this year's theme is the place to be in 2023 is the Winnebago County Fair and with us on the float is Amber Hammond this year's Ferris to the Fair Again, you can get your tickets early for the Winnebago County Fair, but remember it's August 2nd through 6th. And of course, this is the place to be. A fixture in our parade is Herb Ross with the Spicket, Picket Steam Club, a 1929 Ford Doodle Bug. And behind him, Winnebago County Executive John Damo and his family celebrating the 4th of July and just wanting to say thank you to everyone for what they do to make Oshkosh the place to be and so you can discover Oshkosh. Another fun 4th of July fact, the Star Spangled Banner became our national anthem in 1931. And today we celebrate 
our 247th birthday. So God bless America. Also a reminder, you're watching us on Oshkosh Media Life TV. And for replays of the parade, because if you're in the parade, you can't see the parade because you're walking. So there are, it'll be replayed throughout the month. Just go to www.oshkoshmedia.org and you can see the parade. Um, also remember that Oshkosh Media has an FM radio station, plays wonderful music, W101.9 FM. And I already plugged the OCM card, but you know I have two and they make great gifts. $10 and you can use it all year round, pays for itself, local restaurants, etc. If you wanna buy one while you're eating at the Delta, buy one at the Delta or Hardee's or Two Brothers, again, only $10, a great deal. And again, you're supporting the friends of Oshkosh Media. What a gorgeous day here in downtown Oshkosh. And lots and lots of people, smart people who brought umbrellas, lots of water to stay hydrated and shade. Coming into view right now is the VFW Post 2126 out of Menasha. Their float honoring the vets from the Isle of Valor. This definitely is the pride of America, our American flag. And it's so nice to have the flags handed out before the parade from the Rotaries and Oshkosh Defense and then to see all the flags on all of our wonderful floats and entries and the people walking. So thank you for remembering. All gave some, some gave all. The Isle of Valor. Coming into view now is the Oshkosh Area Women's Association and our very own Miss Oshkosh and Miss Teen Oshkosh who both represented Oshkosh in the parade uh, in the parade in the pageant in June. They did both did a wonderful job. Miss Oshkosh, Taylor Swanson, who goes to UW Oshkosh and is majoring in psychology. And then again, Miss Oshkosh Teen, who is a senior at Oshkosh West High School. Uh, Madeline Rukowski, thank you very much for representing Oshkosh. Here comes the American Black Belt Academy. American Black Belt Academy is Oshkosh's only not-for-profit martial art school. They have been in Oshkosh in business for 35 years. Great job there. Wonderful to see them participating in our parade. Another beautiful vehicle, this time is blue, goes with our, our flag theme of red, white, and blue. And also being thrown from that vehicle, of course, is candy. And who does not love candy? It's 103.9 WVBO. Hey, John, fire truck broke down. Oh. Still the family. Thank you for telling me that. Great. So the blue vehicle is the O'Connor. O'Connor family, a fixture in our parade. Um, they had a little problems with their fire truck, so they substituted with another vehicle. Wonderful to have them here, along with 103.9 WVBO. And also on the beautiful red convertible is Miss Rural Winnebago from Waukaw, Wisconsin. Josie Voigt, she is Miss Rural Winnebago. Looking nice and crisp and fresh in her white dress, waving to all her fans. Coming into view, the Oshkosh Elf Lodge 292. They support our community through many, many ventures, through volunteers and donations. Education is a big thing for the Elks to support our youth and our children. So 
Oshkosh Elks Lodge 292. What a very patriotic float. Going along with our theme, the pride of America. So thank them very much for being in our parade. Some of the uh, entities that they support, the Oshkosh Area Humane Society, the Honor Flight, the Food Pantry, Sleep in Heavenly Peace, which is a newer organization that makes sure that every child that needs a bed has a bed. So thank you very much to the Oshkosh Elks. Some really cool crisp cars there representing the Winnebago County Republican Party. Michael Schwa, 53rd State Assembly. Again, you're watching the Oshkosh 4th of July Parade on Life TV. Thank you to Oshkosh Media for their support. I think this is our first animal that I've seen so far. What a beautiful horse. Walking very proudly. A good picture right there. Look how noble the horse stands. Wonderful. And then continuing on, Congressman Glenn Grossman. It really is a blessing. Fourth of July weekend is a busy time, but to see so many people here participating in our parade. Um, this is the land of the free, the home of the brave, so thank you. George Lucia for United States Senate. Do you know who has the largest fireworks display in our country? That would be New York City. Costs six million dollars and they have over 75,000 firework shells. What a way to celebrate the fourth. And of course, Oshkosh is blessed because we have our own wonderful display um, at Dusk Night, sponsored by Festival Foods. Coming into view right now is the AMVETS post. Proudly displaying all of our flags, and that's post seven from Oshkosh. Love to see all the ages of the walkers too. You know, some get to ride, that probably would be me riding in a wagon there, but uh, walking proudly, handing out candy, handing out flags, just participating in our parade, celebrating the pride of America, our American flag. That is a handful of, can of candy right there. And coming into view is a, a known staple in our parade. Uh, KG and the Ranger, a husband and wife team. KG and the Ranger have entertained nationwide since 1989. They're just coming into view right now. They're stopping to do a few tricks for the crowd. Gosh, he is tall, isn't he? KG and the Ranger bring back memories of Roy Rogers and Gene Autry. And if you don't know who they are, ask your parents or, or your grandparents. But there's some wonderful rope tricks by KG and the Ranger. I think there's an armadillo in the front and then a little skunk, a little skunk following, but we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch the rope tricks. And truly, if you had to say a staple in our parade, 
That's Julie's Touch of Silver, who are who represented all of our holiday parades under the direction of Lacey Slyke. Julie's, this is its 42nd year in operation. And pretty soon they'll be competing in Liverpool. So good luck to them as they travel, as they travel to Liverpool for the competition. We're so glad they're with us. In our wonderful group performing today, our ages three to 18, let's take a look at Julie's Touch of Silver. That is a lot of young ladies right there. Thank you very much, Julie's Touch of Silver. And for all you do in our community and for all the places that you perform and entertain, especially for being in our parades, Julie's Touch of Silver is a fixture. And here is the Altrusa International Club of Oshkosh. The Altrusa Club does so many good things in our community also. Um, in the car is newly elected District 7 Governor Ingrid Christensen. You might also know her mom, who's handing out candy, Carlene Christensen. Altrusa is an international service organization with a major focus on literacy. They support United Way and the Dolly Parton Library, Salvation Army, Coats for Kids, Cots Meal Ministry, something near and dear to me, and many more organizations and projects. We're so thankful to have them in our community and for everything they do, and they're giving me candy. candy. Thank you so very much. El Thank you, you too. Altrusa Club does many, many good things in our community. And here comes the Oshkosh United Martial Arts. They teach so many things to their students besides the martial arts. They teach respect and honor and dignity. And we appreciate them. And it's getting a little hotter here. You see they're carrying fans. That's pretty, pretty smart of themselves too to bring along their own air conditioning as they march in our parade. But we're so glad to have them here. And they've been in our parade for many years and they've also grown quite a bit as they've been in the parade. So again, the Oshkosh United Martial Arts. Just a reminder, you're watching the Oshkosh 4th of July parade here on Oshkosh Life TV. Replays, go to www.oshkoshmedia.org. So many wonderful programs on Life TV, including a program that I produce and host called The Place to Be Oshkosh, which focuses on things going on in our community involved volunteers or events. In July's issue, we have Zion Church talking about their food pantry and everything that they do. So take time to turn into Life TV. Oshkosh Youth Soccer Club here. What a great sport. Lots of sports represented in our parade today. Something definitely for everyone. So the Oshkosh Youth Soccer Club, they promote soccer for kids pre-K to 18 years old. Everyone who signs up learns to play soccer and more importantly than that, learns to have fun. Coming into sight right now is the Winnebago County Democratic Party. First, first floor, Lori Palmieri. 
And I think no matter what par party you're part of, it just reminds all of us to get out there and to vote. And again, they're handing out flags too, which is the theme of our parade, the pride of America, our American flag. I can, you, you can't ask for better weather here in downtown Oshkosh. There's a slight breeze, it's really beautiful. Muslims for loyalty, love for all, hatred for none. Always represented in our parades too. All about unity and respect. So thank you very much for being part, part of our parade. They actually are the first mosque in Oshkosh. Maybe a little more uh, trivia for you. The Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor is holding a tablet in her left hand. Do you know what's on that tablet? It says July 4th, 1776. And the very first 4th of July parade was held in Bristol, Rhode Island in 1785. Two people attended, not like the hundreds of people attending our wonderful parade today. You hear the music? It's Oshkosh Jazzercise. About 20 ladies dancing on our city streets, exercising, but again, more importantly than that, they're having fun. Let's give a look and a listen to Oshkosh Jazzercise. Here we have Cook Fuller Post 70 of the American Legion. The post accepts any veteran who served honorably from December 7th, 1941 up to today. Thank you for being in the parade, American Leisure Coke, Cook Fuller Post 70. Look at the cute little animals. It's got to be the Oshkosh Area Human, Humane Society. If you're looking for an addition to your family, I advise you to check out the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. They have so many different pets that are looking to be adopted and, and find a forever home. So check out our Oshkosh Area Humane Society. Wow, I love the cool bus coming, coming into view, you guys. Wait till you see this. It's Cobuston Buses LTD, and they're pulling this wonderful, cool, yellow short bus wow again cobussin is always a fixture in our parades also so thank you very much you know when you when you hear me talk there's a lot of organizations and people that have been in our parade for many many years and they wouldn't miss it and cobussin is one of them Now we have the Women's Flat Track Roller Derby, Fox City's Roller Derby, doing a great job <laughs> rolling on down our, our city streets. Wish I could do that. I can't stand on roller skates to save myself, but they're doing a pretty good job, so we appreciate them. And again, they've been a fixture in our parade for many years too. Now we get to see the entries from the Pickett Steam and Gas 
Engine Club. There's a 1929 Model C. Their show was always the first weekend after Labor Day. Quite a few entries, and we're very, very happy for that, from the Pickett Steam and Gas Engine Club. Which gives us a reminder to thank all of our farmers for all that they do and for the food that they support us with, like our farmers markets and our food co-ops. Uh, nothing like fresh corn, fresh tomatoes. And again, donations also go to Feeding America. So thank you very, very much. The Picket, Picket Estates, Picket Farms, Building Homes for Tomorrow. I hear music. I hear music in the background, and I think that's got to be the Oshkosh Area Community Band. And the special selection that they are playing is called Salute to the Colors. The Oshkosh Area Community Band was founded in 1987 under the sponsorship of the Oshkosh Rec Department. Let's take a listen. Good job. The band rehearses at 7 p.m. on Mondays at Oshkosh West and welcomes anyone who's graduated high school who likes to play an instrument, instrument and have fun. Come join the Oshkosh Area Community Band. I know everybody's enjoying this wonderful parade, but it's a chance for us again to thank the Vietnam Veterans of America, who are the parade organizers for our Fourth of July parade. And again, it's Dwayne and Ann who we really have to thank for putting all of this together, especially Ann, who makes sure that I have all the sheets and all the notes and I know what I'm talking about. And again, the staff and volunteers at Oshkosh Media and the Friends of Oshkosh Media Board. Again, Go to oshkoshmedia.org to find replayed times and also all the wonderful shows. Also make sure to go to visitoshkosh.com to find out more about all the wonderful summer events that are going on in Oshkosh, whether it's Life Fest, the Fair, EAA. There's so much going on and discover Oshkosh. Coming into view is Oshkosh Lodge number 27, the Free and Accepted Masons of Wisconsin. They're a traditional organization that teaches devotion to one's country. The Oshkosh Masonic Lodge honors the men and women who have worn our nation's uniforms. It's great to see, you know, we're taking pride in our flag, but it's great to see the people that dress up in the red, the white, and the blue to celebrate our flag, the pride of America. And again, happy 247th birthday, America. God bless America. I love it. They're handing out icy treats. So we've got candy, uh, we've got cozies, and we've got icy treats handed out on this hot day, on this beautiful day in downtown Oshkosh. Coming into view right now is the Oshkosh Summer Marching Band. This is comprised of students from Oshkosh North and Oshkosh West. They've been gathering for the last couple of weeks just for today's performance. The band is directed by Gloria Dorschner Mackey and Dan Singer. Let's give a listen to the Oshkosh Area School District Summer Band.
request for giving up some of your summer time to volunteer and to practice so you could play in our parade. The beautiful white uh, vehicle is the Winnebago County Committee of Wisconsin Right to Life. Again, in our wonderful country of America, it's all about respect. What a beautiful day, and I really I have to thank everyone who helps put on this parade, especially the wonderful crew here at Oshkosh Media uh, who are here with the cameras, the sound, the visual, Jake and Scott and Ian and Daryl, giving up their time and their expertise to make sure that you can watch the parade if you're one of the 50 million people who are out of town. Um, it's a chance for you to enjoy our parade. Uh, again, go to oshkoshmedia.org to find out replay times for the parade. Here we have the ordinary riders in front of us demonstrating their riding ability on these bikes from the 1820s to the 1900s. Again, just a reminder, there's so much coming up. Uh, Life Fest is July 6th through 9th. EAA is the 24th through the 30th. The County Fair is August 2nd through 6th. And just going down to Menominee Park, take a chance to see the zoo today, to eat from one of the 14 food trucks, and then to sit back and relax and watch the fireworks sponsored by Festival Food. Here we have WSCO FM 95.3 or 99.1, The Score. The Score is your radio home of the best sports talk lineup in Northeast Wisconsin. One little more fact for you about the 4th of July. Do you know that the Declaration of Independence written by Thomas Jefferson was written on a laptop. Okay, not a laptop as we know it today, but it was a special desk that fit over his lap as he wrote the Declaration of Independence. Here we have Oshkosh North Youth, Youth Baseball in front of us. Another great activity that we've seen today. There's something definitely for everyone to do in our fair city of Oshkosh. So discover Oshkosh and play soccer, do gymnastics, do karate, do roller derby, do baseball, play in the band. There's a lot for you to do at Discover Oshkosh. Again, just a chance for me, um, for all, all of you people who are enjoying the parade and the parade coverage by um, Oshkosh Community Media, I encourage you to go out and buy an OCM card. It's only $10. You can get discounts throughout the year at various restaurants and establishments. Where can you buy the card? Uh, go to Hardee's, go to the Delta, go to Two Brothers. It makes a great gift. If you have someone who's hard to please, hard to buy a gift for, I encourage you to do the OCM card. $10, you get discounts throughout our city, throughout the year. It's a great, great stocking stuffer. You know, if we're talking about Christmas, which is not that far away, uh, or if we're just talking about something to do to support our community and to support the Friends of Oshkosh Media. Here we have Oshkosh Jewelers with their 25-foot party bus. The bus is owned by Oshkosh Jewelers and Oshkosh Buses. over 20 years of experience. If you haven't checked them out yet, they're on Oregon Street, Oshkosh Jewelers. Party bus too, what a great way to party and not have to worry about any of the driving. So check out, check it out. And Winnebago Land BMX. Again, it's so much to do. Look at the bicycles and look at the small ones on the bicycles. Winnebago Land BMX Club. 
This year marks its 40th anniversary in Oshkosh, so congratulations to you. 40 years in Oshkosh. They race on Wednesdays at 6.30 and Saturdays at noon. Riders are anywhere between the age of 3 and 63. And look at the large group that they have right here in downtown Oshkosh. How very, very cool. Love the tricks, love the wheelies. Okay, there's a live trick going on right in front of us. It's a little evil Knievel right there. And if you haven't done so yet, please check out all the programming on Ashcash Media, whether it's Life TV or Government TV, there's so much to watch. I also happen to have a show on Life TV called The Place to Be Ashkosh. It's a talk show and it features various organizations and volunteers in our community. The July show actually is the food pantry, the thrift store from Jericho Road Ministries. So check us out on Life TV. Our show is sponsored by COTS and the Ashkosh Herald, which is a great community paper. You can hear the music again coming into sight is Trinity Lutheran Church and School. Again, Trinity is always a fixture in a lot of the parades that we have here. This is the Trinity Lutheran Praise Band. Let's take a listen. Nice applause for Trinity Lutheran Church and School and their praise band and all of the walkers that they have with them. Behind them is the Oshkosh Eagles Youth Football Club, the Northside Youth Football Club for grades five through eight. Again, there is so much to do in our community. Now we're adding football. Thank you Oshkosh Eagles for being in our parade. The Southside Ice Yacht Club is before us right now, simply displaying one of the most beautiful things we can ever see, and that's the American flag. The pride of America, our American flag. If you have never been there yet, go there on a Friday night for their Friday fish fry. They've been around for over four decades. So thank you, Southside Ice Yacht Club, you got some really good fish there too on Friday night. The Tina Troy Cancer Foundation is before us now, supporting those people affected by cancer. So a great reminder for us that everyone works together here to support each other. And when times are bad, as their banner says, nobody fights alone, there's always people there to help you. So thank you, the Tina Troy Cancer Foundation. And they will have a benefit at area 44 on August 12th. So um, if you're not doing anything on August 12th, why not attend the Tina Troy Cancer Foundation event at Area 44. Heard their pizza is amazing.
wake you up in the morning if you already haven't been awake by listening to the wonderful bands and just watching everyone here at our 4th of July parade. Here comes the bug, but it's a good bug. It's the bug, Hometown Broadcasting, 102.3 FM. Thank you for being in our parade. A good kind of bug, the bug. And here is the Oshkosh Wild Youth Wrestling Club. Passing out candy. Again, as I said, there is, you can't say there isn't anything for all of our youth to do in our community, because here's another thing that people can do, and that's to wrestle. So how very, very cool to have them in our parade also. Besides, besides the baseball, the gymnastics, the dancing, the football, the roller derby. There's so many activities for our youth. Just opened in Oshkosh, across from Perkins. Here we have Scooter's Coffee. The fastest, friendliest coffee in the Midwest. So everyone loves coffee. I mean, I'll drink coffee if I have to, but I had so much at college in the South that I only drink it if I really have to, or if it's a really good cup of coffee. So we welcome to our community, Scooter's Coffee. Does that not look, <laughs> does that not look refreshing right in front of us? Wow. Welcome to Oshkosh in our community, Scooter's Coffee. Just a reminder too, to go to visitoshkosh.com website to find out more about all the wonderful events that are going on all this summer at Oshkosh. You know, whether it's uh, Waterfest on Thursdays, Farmer's Market on Saturdays, there's definitely something for everyone to do. And here is Miss Wisconsin Volunteer, Liberty. Thank you for being in our parade, Liberty. We're so glad that you could join us. She's a junior at the University of Alabama. And she just returned from Mississippi where she participated in the national pageant. Boy Scouts of America, Twin Lakes District. The Boy Scouts do so much in our community, volunteering, collecting food with when it comes for the food drives, helping out, so we're so glad that they could be here. <laughs> Town of Algoma, Fire Department number seven, beautiful red shiny fire truck. There are so many people here in downtown Oshkosh, which is cool. You know, hopefully they'll stay around afterwards and, and look at all the wonderful local businesses we have here. We thank the Bid District for all that they do and supporting that also. Beautiful blue and white truck says, Your Boat Club. Find out more information at yourboatclub.com. I would imagine this afternoon that boat is going to be out on the water. You know, you can't say that you did not get enough candy in this parade because there is tons of candy being handed out. Um, hey, another addition now, hand sanitizer being handed out too. So, something for everyone. It's nice to see everybody share the candy, too, because there's so many people here 
and it's nice to see that the little ones get candy, get some candy also. Here comes the City of Oshkosh Parade Float, the theme of Liberty, and this, is, this float is sponsored by the City of Oshkosh, and it's called Liberty. And behind our beautiful Liberty float is the Wisconsin Leo Veterans of America. We really truly appreciate all the support that they gave and all that they do. Walking, walking in the parade, they've been a fixture in the parades for a while too. And as I say, as you look at everyone who's participating in this parade, there's new additions which we truly appreciate but there's a lot of our staples who've been with us for many, many years and take the time during the 4th of July, sometimes it's the weekend or the holiday, just to celebrate. Good job. And sadly, I think we're coming to the end of the parade, but this group here is truly important also because this is the Vietnam Veterans of America and Associates, and these are the people who give their time and give their energy to plan the parade. So really, Dwayne Cannon and Ann and all of these people who plan our parade and support our parade, we thank you for your service you to our country. Service. But thank you also for all that you do for the parade and putting on our wonderful parade. What a great time this has been in downtown Oshkosh here by the Sundial. It's been a wonderful parade. The weather's been great. Nice breeze. A great way for all of us to remember what America is all about. You know, we're celebrating our 247th birthday today and we're celebrating with our Oshkosh 4th of July Parade, the pride of America, our American flag. Also wanna thank you to the auxiliary police who are here making this parade, making this parade possible also. And also, as we said before, this parade would not be possible without Oshkosh Media and their wonderful staff and volunteers who are here taping the parade for us today. Where can you watch this parade? Go to oshkoshmedia.org and you can find replay times of this parade and also all the other wonderful shows that we have on Life TV and Government TV. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm John Neiman. Have a wonderful 4th of July and a wonderful rest of the summer. Thank you.